All right, so I want to go ahead and address the Magic X chip fraud scandal that is currently going on here before I move further, you know, with this, uh, this review here. Um, basically, Magic X is, you know, indeed admitting the fault that you purchase a fake chip device. And then they go on any exclamation is meaningless now because the incident is a heavy blow to us. Of course it is. And saying subsequent, uh, sub, 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 subsequent products will use the action to prove our determination to make good products. We will go all out and continue to develop the future of Magic S X, including the original vintage control uh, device will be transferred to the Magic X project to express our determination. People can continue to express their outrage over the fraud scandal and trust that we can grow through the bumpy road ahead. Maybe... Uh, <laughs> They misspelled their own name. Maybe Manic X will work harder and become stronger. For those who don't like or hate Magic X, I hope you will pay attention to our future. With your su supervision, we will become strong. <laughs> I also like to thank you for your attention and suggestions. The compensation plan is updated again. Choose one from the two friends who purchased the M or Menu uh, or XU uh, Mini M can get a $15 coupon when purchasing the M+. This coupon is not a coupon from the AliExpress platform, but is subsidized by ourselves. Friends who purchased the M before September the 3rd can send them basically a private message to get a $9 refund. We Magic X never give up on the road. Uh, you mean Manic X, okay. The following are the newly planned equipment. <laughs> I can't believe they actually put in a product launch in this this kind of I don't know what this is apology or or what this is here but <laughs> after the fraud scandal whether you support or hate Magic X our only choice is to continue to develop the future of Magic X a sincere sincere thanks to those who have always supported Magic X and wow that response is I don't know why that uh, th this response was definitely a, uh, you know, not a good response in my opinion. And you, and yeah, you can see how the community has been taking it here. Thank God for credit card chargebacks. One saying the compensation is not much, but I did not, I do not expect it to be very much because of the, you know, because of the actual profit margin. Essentially, you know, others, it's a cheap device. You know, another one here offering a coupon towards another device is shady has, you know what? Hey, we, you over, but here, buy another device from us that is slightly cheaper. And there's, there's somebody who actually goes through the claim in detail, which is, you know, the company Magic X contracted out for the chips, uh, took the lower chip and sent it off the text on the chip identifying it, then re-silk screened the wrong information for the higher chip and... You know, this person is uh, also referencing the actual lockdown of the firmware that does come with the Magic X, you know, to hide the lower chip. And then it goes on and, you know, the fact that Gamma Squeeze had been rooting around for the firmware for, for weeks was unable to tell kind of shows this would have been easily caught by Magic X either. And, you know, others, you've got us. Another one, no option for a, ret uh, a return for a full refund plus some incentive to give another vice is lazy has. Yep. Uh, so it's it's definitely, um, you know, Sprouts hasn't been taken well here. And, you know, so it's definitely a big scandal when, you know, considering buying this device or not. Um, you know, they're only offering $9 if you can't, if you bought the device before September the 3rd. Um, or $15 towards the, the M+. Plus. Not sure how this is all going to work out, but I guess, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, I know with the uh, the $9, they're telling you to, to go ahead and, you know, contact him for the, uh, what is this, for the um, private message here for the $9 refund or the 15 friends who purchased them can get a $15 coupon. I don't know how that's going to work. This coupon is not a coupon from the Ali AliExpress platform. All right, well, where do you get it? Because... The only option is the AliExpress, you know, platform, at least that I see. Um, maybe Pow Kitty 
Is that what, what's going to happen? Because usually Palkiti, I mean, they sell the devices very expensively. I mean, this this is what seventy dollars for this Magic XU10. When I looked it up, and it's like you know, f uh, was it forty dollars on AliExpress? I mean, is it going to be a coupon here? Um, because you know, certainly that would mean nothing the <laughs> when they already are charging way over what the you know current price it's going over. Um, so I'm not sure how that fifteen dollar coupon is going to work. Um, when it comes to you know people purchase this i'm not sure how much nine dollars is going to even be i mean if you purchase this kind of around you know this price then i guess that maybe is fine you know i guess you know because it'll bring it around the the a30 or the rg uh two uh eight xx um if not if you bought it for the 5136 it's just like you know that doesn't that doesn't really do anything and I, i've read i think in the thread there's others who bought it for even more expensive amount of money you know they're in europe and they got to pay all this these other fees so nine dollars is literally nothing to them a nine dollar discount does nothing when it comes towards it here so i don't know what to say um you know when it comes to this situation here as for magic x response i mean to plug in a new device you know <laughs> wow you know, let everybody know about this chip scandal. It's just, I don't know what to say on that. Um, and then on top of that, I, I just, you know, I, I don't know how this could really happen. And it's, it's just, you know, if you look at their previous device, there's some suspect things on there as well. I mean, they reference, uh, 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 what is this? A, um, if you look at the, the spreadsheet, one gigabyte of DDR4, but there was a person that, you know, actually tore this down and it's got one gigabyte of DDR3L. I mean, <laughs> this even this spec sheet doesn't doesn't look legit here. Um, you know, and I, I searched up the chip myself. It shows up at D DDR3L, so I don't know what to say. I mean, unless you know, I'm not googling right, or the, the you know the information that's pulling up is incorrect. Um, so I don't know what to say. And this is on the XU uh, XU10 on the actual Mini uh, uh, Magic X XU Mini M. It's the same situation. It is, I saw now they're tore down and I'm actually gonna tear this down, you know, at the end of this, it's showing DDR3L one gigabyte, not DDR4 one gigabyte in the unit. So it's more than just the chip in there. And then, you know, I remember reading another comment, you know, how can you, you know, it's more than just the chip. How can you design a PCB around, you need to design the PCB around the chip. How could have this happened? And I know that, that comment in response there goes into more detail in it, you know, uh, right here of how it could, how to, how that could have happened. But still, I mean, you already have, you know, a suspect on this here with the actual uh, uh, RAM situation here. And then you, you know, only did it again on this one, but on top of that, you know, you have this, this fake chip situation going on. So I don't know what to say. But uh, as for the device, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and you know get through this this review here. I'm gonna show you guys here in just a moment. I think it's a worth worthwhile device. But yeah, with this scandal, I don't know what to say. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, you know, if it's it's if you know if you want to wait for the M plus because M plus is literally right around the corner. They're they're saying October, and you know we're in September now. Uh, when it comes towards the uh, you know the launch of the new device, on top of that after this announcement the prices have not changed they have not changed they're all just the same as it was like a week ago um it is not changed there's it's not like new information has been pushed through and then they lowered down the prices the specs have not changed and i can actually understand that you know because i imagine if they have to maybe change out the the uh the specs then you know they have to do an entire new new page or who knows uh, definitely it's, it probably gets complicated on top of that that would lose out on these these reviews here um, you know, when it comes towards the device here, but I'm going to go ahead and, you know, review this device here. Just, uh, uh, you know, just to, I really do think it's a worthwhile product here. So yeah, uh, go ahead and, uh, I'll show you out the, the review here. All right, guys, welcome to, uh, the review of the XU mini M. I know I had to let you guys know about that scandal here, but I do want to go over the device. It's a really good device. Um, even with the, uh, the chip, uh, chip scandal um going on here it's still an excellent device not for its current price but um definitely if uh when the prices come down i imagine to get rid of this unit since the m plus is coming you know pretty soon it's definitely going to be a in my opinion a worthwhile purchase 
Um, yeah, currently right now I do have it here in hand and you know, it's a 2.8 inch, a 2 .8 inch uh, device. I got it into the, uh, you know, the gray color here. And you know, it's, it's, uh, it's specs are supposed to be an RK3562, which obviously now is not the case. Um, it is showing up, uh, uh, the chip is most likely an RK3326 uh, uh, or 26S uh, when it comes to the chip inside of the unit. And it's supposed to have one gigabyte of, you know, DDR4 in the unit here, but it's, it's really one gigabyte of DDR3L um, uh, like the XU10 is in on top of that it comes with a 64 gigabytes of an sd card here in the unit i will go over that here in a moment because it's it might as well be just like you know d shouldn't even exist because it, it it just dies it's just it, yeah <laughs> like most likely it will it will either die or be dead when you get the unit so yeah you're going to need to swap that out immediately it's supposed to performance wise play psp nintendo 64 nds you know sega saturn you know all those good devices here but uh you know obviously it doesn't have the rk3562 so really it's going to be ps1 and and you know in a below kind of device. Um, I'm, yeah, I mean, you may be able to, to attempt and I have, you know, attempted Dreamcast and Saturn and yeah, it's like a, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit of a slideshow. I mean, it goes from 15 frames per second to 20 and we'll, we'll go over that uh, here in a moment into the review, but yeah, it's, it's basically going to be a PS one or, or under device here. Um, on top of that, it does come a 2600 uh, milliamp per hour battery. The battery life is supposed to be six hours. It supports, uh, you know, SD cards up to 512 gigabytes. It supposedly weighs 120 grams. I'm just going to take uh, uh, Magic X word on that, uh, you know, 120 20 grams. And it runs the, the Linux operating system here. So you're, you're just like your, your standard you know, micro handheld and the games it kind of supports here. Um, unfortunately, because obviously the uh, the chip in it, it doesn't have enough of power for, you know, things like really PSP N64 or Dreamcast or Sega Saturn there. So still, it's a worthwhile device. Um, yeah, I do, uh, do want to go over the device and, you know, what it currently has here. You get uh, a regular DC port, you get an, uh, let me, go a little bit uh a little bit bigger here one second let me see if it's big enough yeah let's go a little bit closer here to the unit so yeah you do get the otg port if you want to use you know any uh any uh external you know devices here you get the the volume up uh volume up and volume down rocker here you have the inline l1 and r1 here you have the l2 and then you know the r2 here you do get a, a start, a select. You got these colorful, you know, buttons here, the regular uh, X, Y, A, and B here. And then you got two, two joysticks, really, really good joysticks that we'll, we'll go over here. Um, and it's, it's, you know, definitely joysticks that are found in more, even more expensive uh, uh, handhelds than, uh, you know, this device here. Then you got the, the traditional D-pad and then you have the LED light, you know, let you know the, the charging and, you know, if it's powered on, all that good stuff here. Then you have the home button on the uh, the bottom of the unit. After that, you get a 3.5 millimeter jack. I will definitely go a little bit deeper into that because, yeah, there's some, there is an issue with that here. You get a, a power button, you get a restart uh, button here, and then you got two, two speakers, two really, really, really loud speakers. And then on the back of the unit, um, you actually get a uh, an exhaust port is what it's called in the manual, an actual heat exhaust port here. And then you have the actual uh, a TF2 slot, which we'll go over here in a moment. And then the TF1 slot here uh, for your, your uh, you know, regular uh, uh, OS uh, um, SD card here. Um, has for the, uh, the uh, overall kind of feel of the unit, I mean, I know others say it feels cheap. It just feels, it feels not bad. I mean, it's nothing outstanding or anything but you know it feels good uh, in the hands has for the buttons i mean they're just 
they're okay. I mean, there's they're nothing to be excited about. Uh, joysticks again, very wonderful, feels great, but the issue with it, um, you know, first impressions is that it's just too low, but it still works. Once you start playing it, you're just like, all right, this works, you know, but I definitely wish they were raised. I know uh, other reviewers say you can actually pull these off and, you know, put in, uh, you know, higher sticks or change out the sticks themselves. So they are replaceable. I haven't seen where you can buy those replacements here, nor have I tried it. That's what, you know, others are saying here. So we'll just go on that. And the D-pad is, it's, it's not bad. You know, it's not bad. The issue I have with it when I was first using the, uh, the unit is, yeah, a lot of accidental diagonals. I mean, it's not as bad as the A30. Good God, the A30. Um, yeah, <laughs> you know, uh, and, uh, this deep bag can definitely make the RGB30 <laughs> blush here when it comes to uh, how it is. But um, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a traditional deep pad. It's just, yeah, a lot of accidental diagonals in my opinion here. But yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, power on the unit. Um, actually, you know, before we power on the unit, I just want to let you know about here the TF2 is... Oh, it's it's going to extend out. I haven't seen anyone's unit that hasn't have it pop out like that. You know, it's it's. I don't understand how this can be flush, but then they mess up here on the right hand side, and, and it's kind of you know, wondering if Magic X even tested this out because I mean it's just it's just so glaring. You know, it's just like right out there, right right, right you know right in front of you. It it pops out. So there's that. I know a lot of people or you know. Uh, it could be dangerous. You may damage the the SD card, that kind of stuff. Really, and or you know, it's uncomfortable. I really don't feel it. It it just it goes away for me um, with how you know smooth the device is, and yeah, it's it's not really it's it's nothing. Like I, it's not something I, I uh, not even on a subconscious level. I remember you know it's it's sticking out like that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and power on this actual unit here. And looks like <laughs> I died here. Let me, oh boy, better probably take this sound all the way down considering the situation here on YouTube. Um, let's get out of this here. So I'm right now, I'm also, I do want to let you know I'm running Plum OS on this unit here. And there's a good reason why you want to run Plum OS on this unit. Um, the stock OS, like you heard with the scandal that I just read here in a moment, um, you know, not only is it locked down, but on top of that, it just seems that they have over, what am I doing? They overclocked the, uh, you know, the chip on the unit. I know a lot of reviewers got the unit and it was ridiculously, you know, hot. It was, it was just, you know, warm. It's something you first noticed. It was the same thing for me. Like, it was just like, like, wow, why is this so, so warm? You know, so, so yeah, I mean, I've had units that have, you know, been warm, but you know, not like that, not, you know, first apparently, it didn't matter what I ran, you know, was it Game Boy, Game Boy Color? It was, it was definitely hot. Um, now on Plum OS, that's just gone. It's just completely gone. And it's probably because they were running that chip, uh, that chip overclocked, you know, it's a lower bin chip overclocked. Uh, you know, past the speeds it is supposed to be. So yeah, it was really, really hot. Now this is just, you know, perfect. I don't feel, you know, uh, any heat or, or anything like that. So yeah, rest assured, um, you know, if it's gotten, you know, hot, it, it's, it's gotten warm. Like it's not, not even nowhere close to stock. So the first thing you want to do when you get this, this unit is get rid of the stock operating system. It is, you just got to get rid of it. Um, let me get out of Plum OS. I know in a lot of these review videos, they were showing about, you know, you got to turn the performance mode on or, you know, <laughs> <laughs> um, let's go to it here, the uh, enable max performance. And um, I mean, on the final version of Plum OS, cause it just came out like a, a day or two ago, it, it is on 1.0 final. It's on uh, by default, um, or at least it was on for me. I would still double check and turn that on before, you know, playing any kind of games or anything like that, um, you know, on the, uh, on the unit itself, definitely, uh, I would enable a max performance. Um, it, it's, it's, yeah, I don't feel any, any additional crazy heat or anything like that with this on here. And I know it was supposed to, you know, before this chip scandal came out, it was supposed to, you know, get the chip to two point, uh, two point gigahertz for the RK three, five, uh, six, uh, was it a six, uh, six, two there. 
um, when it comes towards the, yeah, the RK3562. Uh, um, RK but obviously that's not the case anymore, um, you know, when it comes towards it, but still. Um, another thing here as well, when you first get Plum OS on there, you do want to go to, you know, stick your, your second uh, uh, SD card in, and then you want to go ahead and go to TF card management, and then set it up for T, T, uh, TF1 and TF2. And then after that, you can, you know, once it does its little reboot or restart, you can take the, the second SD card out and put games on it. So do want to let you know on that. Um, yeah, as for the, uh, the unit here, we're going we're gonna to play some games and we're also going to talk about some things here. Um, first thing I do want to let you know, this thing gets ridiculously bright like i've never seen anything like it it's like a x it's, it's xu mini m flashlight like uh, i'm gonna turn it up right now i have it set to 25 percent. that's how bright it is it's just good on 25 percent um and it's just you know i can uh, i'm gonna go ahead and blast this here to 100 percent, and it literally will be eyeball burning um if you start playing a game boy game <laughs> on a black and white so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'm just gonna max it out here um, all the way to 100%. You see it's getting getting more and more brighter here. I'm not sure if, if you know, this is, uh, if we're breaking the hardware limits of the panel or anything like that, but it gets ridiculously bright. So I'm going to go ahead and play uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan here. You're going to see how, how bright this is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe it just doesn't do it justice, but it is... It is a flashlight. It is a flashlight. Like, you know, if somebody asks, you know, it's dark, you know, in there, you don't go get the flashlight, you get your XU Mini M. It's, it's just ridiculous. It will hurt your eyeballs. Uh, so I don't recommend to play on 100%, but I mean, I, it works and it is extremely bright. So this is definitely not going to be a brightness issue if you go outside with this unit. It is definitely the plus. It's the brightest of any of these micro handhelds that I have here. The A30, the, the Trim U, uh, i Smart, the RG2XX, the Mini, uh, uh, Mini. It is the brightest uh, unit of, of any of them, like by far, by far. Um, so yeah, the XU Mini M flashlight, or I mean XU Mini M, is it's great. So it is definitely a great in the uh, the brightness levels here. Um, as for the contrast of this unit, it is, uh, it's, I mean, this display of this unit is just really good. I don't know what to say. It is just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic here. I want to show it off like on a contrast, contrasty game, and I'm just going to get a little bit closer here just so I can show you here. Right now, this is just teenage... Uh, Teenage Mutant uh, Turtles here. So let's go ahead and get out of this and then we're gonna go ahead and go further. What am I doing? All right, let's go ahead and quit this. Yeah, look, it's all smudged <laughs> up there. But let's go ahead and play something really contrasty here. So we're gonna go to Game Boy Color. If I can find it. There it is. <laughs> Please, just get the Game Boy Color. All right, we're gonna play that. There it is. And we're gonna load it up and, and just see, you know, how contrasty it is. You know, it's, it's gosh, this light is just blaring here, but it is it's extremely contrasty. This, this camera's not doing it dash, uh, justice. It is just fantastic. It is fantastic. I don't know what to say. Absolutely fantastic with its contrast. Yeah, this camera's definitely not doing it justice, and I'm very sorry about this. <laughs> but it is, uh, it's wonderful. I don't know what to say. So yeah, the, the panel of this device, it is, uh, in my opinion, yeah, I'm going to say it's, 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 it's between the X, um, and between the MiU Mini and this, it's, it's really a hard choice in the best panel, but I really do think it goes to this XU Mini M because of the, you know, the brightness is just you know fantastic and then you know everything else the contrast uh you know the black level was really good um not as good as the mu uh mu uh, mini m or i'm sorry the m miu mini <laughs> the miu mini um but yeah it's it's definitely uh, uh if it's not the first it's definitely the second best you're not going to be disappointed with this panel it's not it's it's just you're going to be impressed like wow this is fantastic you're going to want to play games on this so yeah shout out to this uh to the the, the panel that they put onto this unit here 
Jeez. All right, we're gonna get out of this Game Boy Color game here. I don't, I don't think the camera. Oh, I'm just. <laughs> we're gonna get out of this. Uh, but that was Game Boy Color, there, guys. Um, and as you see, the performance was 60 frames per second, so there was no issues here. Um, there's one thing I want to let you know, and I'm gonna bring it out here. Give me just a moment. Let me do a quick pause. Is the sound on this thing is ridiculously loud. All right, welcome back guys. So I wanted to show you guys how loud this speaker gets. Like it is, uh, it's really bad. It is really, really bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I mean, not really bad. It's, it's really, really loud. <laughs> it is like dangerously loud. Like, and maybe this is for, you know, I've really, it's, I've only kind of really noticed it on this unit you know how loud it can get because it's I feel like my other units that I have here you know didn't get so 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 loud so let's see if um, I can do just I don't know if this audio is gonna be uh, if this audio is gonna be cut out you know due to YouTube oh boy ho oh, oh. Ho, 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 oh man. So maybe you guys don't want to put it at 100%. Maybe, oh, yeah, maybe you guys do not want to put the unit screen to 100% because that thing is hot. It is hot, 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 hot. This, this is, this is, all right. Oh boy, this is, um, yeah, I just discovered that. I mean, I, I never touched the screen though. Like, holy sh humongous. Holy, um, <laughs> this thing is hot. Oh my God, that screen. Like, you don't feel it anywhere. Like, holy moly, you feel it on the screen. This thing is lit. This thing is way too hot. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. All right, guys, so yeah, 100% um, XU Mini M flashlight plus, plus grill. Uh, it gets really, oh, that was getting hot. That was getting hot. I, I really do feel like I must have gone past what the, what the panel should be at because, wow, look at, wow, that is, that is like burn into the touch. Well, almost, almost. It's uncomfortable to, to touch. That was, that was crazy. All right, this was supposed to be a sound test, but now it became uh, this. This screen is just this thing got. Ah. All right, so let's go back to testing out the sound and how. This is probably another one here. <laughs> you probably uh, just like this screen is probably not meant to get that bright <laughs> because it was that was that was that was really hot. Uh, so we'll see on the on the sound here. I don't know what to to say. I need to play something, but I am. Um, yeah, I need a, let's go to Pico 8, Pico 8, yeah, Pico 8, definitely not going to get copyrighted for Pico 8, I'm hoping. Pico 8 would never do that to me. Oh yeah, let's, let's, uh, wow, I think I'm maxed out. This doesn't do it justice. Um, it gets louder than this. Like, oh boy. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, get this a little bit higher. Yeah, I mean it. It it uh, it gets ridiculously loud. Oh my God, there's still more. <laughs> All right, there it is, some sound playing. Ah, come on, do I need to play this little kitty cat? This is just, yeah, I mean, it's, let's play something else. We, we, there's, there's, it's, it gets louder than this. Oh my God. Let's go ahead and exit out of this here. Let's shut this cart down and play something else. Let's play awesome dudes. Let's go all the way down here. Ah, that has no sound though. Okay. 
or may uh, or maze ball dudes. I'm sorry, but I don't. Let me see if that has sounds. I don't remember it having any anything. There it is. That'll work. That'll work. Yeah, I mean, there's probably a better example here, but it it gets. Yeah, I mean, it gets high. Like 95 is that was the average is what I was clocking on uh, uh, playing something more um, more than this. Um, let me try to find another one. I'm going to go ahead and be right back. Oh, yeah. I think this is it. I mean, you can tell it gets it gets really high. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and just stop this here. Let me go ahead and just. Oh God, that is just. Yeah, definitely. Um. Wow. We as we can see here, um, it can get uncomfortably loud. It can get too loud. I mean, another situation where you can just max this thing out and get to unreasonable um you know sound levels but it's it's i feel like the speakers on this thing other than getting it it can get super high higher than any of these other units that i've i've gotten here um you know, <laughs> um they were really good i really do think these bottom firing speakers are really good um do they beat the front facing mono yeah i, I really i think that in my opinion they do at least on this unit um it really did uh it does sound good so i mean it's it's Definitely, I feel like the best speaker out of the the bunch, um, you know, when it comes towards it. But yeah, it can get, again, uncomfortably loud here. Speaking of sound, though, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, 3.5 millimeter. And no matter what I tried on this thing, there is buzzing. There's just buzzing, just just buzzing. Like if you are not playing anything, then you can you can really hear it. It didn't matter what I tried. Like I've tried, uh, I've tried hexes. You get them. I, I've tried blondes here. Where's the hexas? The Kato's. Like it just, it just didn't matter, man. I, I've tried everything. It's, it's. You hear like the buzzing or the electronic noise here. So there is some type of you know electrical interference that you are hearing. Now when you start playing things and start playing sound, it's. I, I mean, I can, I can kind of a little bit you know hear it in the background, but it just kind of phases out after you start playing something with you know real sound. But yeah, that's something you do want to be warned about. The 3.5 millimeter does, at least on my unit, has some type of you know, actual buzzing going on, um, you know, with it if you try to use the uh, the use the device here. But all right, let's go ahead and just um, you know start to play some games here. Is there anything else that? Oh, uh, I'll, I'll mention it now. Um, and actually, when we start playing games, well, I'll talk about it here. Let's just start playing some games right at it. Whew. All right. Well, besides cooking my my fingers here on the screen, <laughs> uh, oh boy! Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Sound has to go away here if we do not, uh, you know, want it to get flagged here. So the sound does have to go away. I'm very sorry about that, but it's just just the way it is um, on YouTube here. All right, so. Um, when I test analog sticks, it's all about the Crash Bandicoot. Like it is about the Crash Bandicoot when it comes to these, uh, you know, these sticks here. Um, and I think it's really like the best way to, to test them out. Like, can I jump from, you know, platform to platform easily? You know, how easy it is, is usually, all right, these are some good sticks. And, you know, these pass with flying colors. At least in my opinion here. Let me get a little bit closer if I can for you guys because this gameplay is, uh, you know, being being so farther away. It's, it's yeah. And, you know, run smooth. But, you know, I would like to say anything can play PS1. But uh, after the Trim UI Smart, like, you know, on stock with what it came, oh, my God, with what it came with, um yeah it wasn't running ps1 so yeah some of these macro handhelds 
you know, may not run, uh, at least with the Trimyard Smart, wasn't running PS1 out of the box. Obviously, when I got, uh, um, um, what was it called, MinUI on it, there was no issues, or at least after I did the firmware update on it, got it on out of the, the test software that, you know, it, was, it actually ran perfectly, you know, 30, uh, it was running at 30 frames per second. As you can see on this one, though, full 60 frames per second, um, you know, when it comes towards it. All right, guys, I may not do good here because I'm, I'm not literally watching a computer screen playing it through there. So there's like some inception going on here when it comes towards it. Let me try to focus on the screen here. Yeah, all right, we're getting it good. So let's focus. But yeah, I mean, the, 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 yeah, the, the actual uh, sticks are the best sticks you, you will ever try on a micro handheld and on most handhelds um, other than it being a little bit lower than I would like it is just absolutely perfect and phenomenal so I don't know what else to say um, the d-pad there is an issue here on the d-pad I'm going to show you here in a moment I mean the d-pad is uh it's okay I guess but the the issue just like with the 830 it's just a lot of a lot of accidental diagonals at least for me um, so I didn't really like that uh, still usable, you know, D-pad and, you know, feels feels good. But, yeah, there was definitely some, some accidental diagonals going on when I was playing. So that was just kind of unfortunate, you know, when it comes towards it. All right, so that is PS1 here. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this and just, just save my progress here really quick. Yeah, let's exit out of this. So we're going to go ahead and quit. That was PS1. Obviously runs it with no issues here. I'm going to go ahead and show something when it comes to the axial diagonals here so you guys can kind of get you know what I'm what I'm saying here it's just it's easy to do it on the units it's unfortunate but you know it's it is what it is so I mean if you if you if you rock this you know back and forth you can see yeah, you can do it you know just by you know wiggling it like that it, it there's definitely some accidental diagonals going on there so it, it is it is what it is you know it's not the not the best but uh it's still a good you know good feeling d-pad and all that but yeah it's yeah no, contra is not my game <laughs> but it is yeah it is what it is there when it comes towards the d-pad so let's get out of this here now I'm just going to forget about these these lower consoles. They all play. I'm going to go ahead and show off uh, what, what we really wanted um, and that we did not get. <laughs> Let me try this again. Which is the PSP, the Dreamcast, and the Saturn. So let's go ahead and try that. I mean, we all know. I mean, it's it can play these. Like, they all they all can. Other than, you know, trim your eyes smart with the PlayStation in the beginning there. But... Um, what really obviously matters is the, uh, you know, like the PSP, what we really wanted, what would be great with these sticks, you know, is, you know, PSP support and 64 and, uh, Dreamcast and, and, you know, Saturn there. So we'll, we'll go ahead and load, um, uh, gosh, what am I loading here? I probably should have loaded God of War. All right, so we're gonna play some GTA Vice City here, I guess. Let me see if I can load something up here. No safe states, all right, great. Come on, come on, come on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and be right back. One second, so this is digging a bit here. No, actually, we're here, let's just do it. And as you can see, just right off the bat, this thing is a, uh, it is doing bad. 15 out of 30, 15 frames per second out of uh, out of 30 there. So yeah, it's 10 out of 20, 12 out. Yeah, I mean it's just all over the place. Yeah, this 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 is. I don't think this is gonna happen, but we'll see. Oh man, that's. Uh... This is this is not this is 15 frames per second and is just not 
yeah yeah i wouldn't play psp on this i mean this is this is not really a too much of a harder run game but it's it's this is i mean it's playable you know i mean it can run but it's like a slideshow a little bit so yeah that was that's just this is <laughs> let's exit out of that um so that's that's definitely not going to happen here and so let's go ahead and exit out of psp move on to the next here all right guys we're gonna go ahead and you know, just play some nintendo 60 uh nintendo 64 here and it's it's playable i mean super mario 64 i'm jumping around you know i really can't show any kind of frames per second or anything like that it's just plum os i mean it's there's not much i can do here to show any kind of performance or anything like that um you know when it comes towards it the sticks are just phenomenal um so yeah it's running pretty good on uh you know nintendo 64 here it's not it's not bad um definitely not a slideshow like the psp at all so it's yeah it's, it's not bad i really do think um you know some uh you know nintendo 64 games you can definitely play some of them there definitely are playable here but i really can't I can only tell, you know, and it, it doesn't feel um, doesn't feel that bad. I really can't show you any kind of numbers or anything like that. Um, has for uh, this is a normal four by three screen, um, you know. So has for any kind of uh, litter boxing and, and pillar boxing here. It's going to be the normal with a four by three screen, you know. When it comes towards it here, I do um, also want to let you know here more about these these uh, these these shoulders here. I know I was going to go into it. But these shoulders, you know, you can click them here. But if, uh, you know, once you start going down, like if you're right here, you can't, there's no, there's no click. So there's definitely a limit to them on, you know, how far you can, you can click on the side of it. You know, once you're like right here, it just kind of, it's just, yeah, it's, it's either doesn't click or it's just extremely, uh, extremely hard to, you know, do the shoulder clicks here. But I mean, they're good, but I, 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 um, I mean, they feel good to click. It's more of a, if you, you, you know, if you look at it, it kind of looks, it doesn't look all that premium, you know, especially this, this R2 or, uh, here, but it's, you know, it feels not bad. You know what I mean? Not bad at all. This is, this is not bad. These shoulder buttons here. All right, what else here? I mean, it's, it's you know, N Nintendo 64, you'll be able to play some games. Saturn, yeah, you know, some games, but you definitely, uh, I, I've, it's it's just no. It's just no on the on the Saturn and no on the PSP uh, when it comes towards it here. I wish I had the Dreamcast. I don't know where the folder went. Um, it's probably not registering there. I may have to uh, rename the, the actual folder here. Oh, yeah, I do want to. Um, there is a couple tools here. A lot of these don't even work under Plum OS Final. So if you do check a CPU, GPU frequency, just kind of uh, just doesn't do anything really. It just goes back. Controller test is super weird. I mean, it's just, you know, hey, you're getting some numbers here. That's about it. Uh, so I thought that was interesting here. Now this is, this is useful if you need to create the ROM directory again for the TF2 or no, I'm um, yeah. Uh, the ROM directory for the SD card, you can just use that right there. Install themes doesn't do anything. Goes, just go back to the, uh, goes back to the, uh, the main menu on Plum OS here. 1.0 final, just right there, <laughs> right back to the, the final. No final, uh, or back to the main menu here. All right, and what else here? Yeah, start Pico 8, switch to USB audio. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I have not tested that yet, especially with the issue with the 3.5 millimeter. Let's see what happens when I hit on that. And then let's see if I can maybe uh, go ahead and plug in maybe a DAC or something and see what happens. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get something here. Let's see what happens. And then let's let's plug something in. Plug in some some hexes here and see if I get some audio here. What am I doing? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to play some audio. I've not tested that out. 
Um, so give me one moment and I'm gonna be right back. All right, I'm back, yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> that did not work. Um, oh, let's go ahead and compare these screens here. I'm gonna compare, I'm gonna open up Game Boy Color. And I should have done this from the very beginning here. You know what, instead of comparing screens, let's come first compare the actual, um, you know, units, uh, uh, unit sizes here. So I do want to go ahead and bring everything out. Let me go ahead and just pull back here. Should have done this from the very beginning. And then kind of bring out these units here. I may have to go even higher. Yeah. And then we can just like bring that in. <laughs> As you can see, the best, you know, size of a 2.8 inches is the Miu Mini. It is going to be the smallest thing out of these bunches, um, at least uh, lengthwise. There, it is definitely the smallest out of the bunch here. So if we kind of just line it up, it's the same, same kind of. Uh, let me see, yeah, the same, same kind of uh, a length here on the unit. So it's the same length, and then after that, it's going to be. The Trim UI Smart is going to be the uh, the second lengthwise uh, shorter, and then the menu uh, MiU um, Mini here is going to be the the smallest lengthwise here. If you're going to take into size, let's go ahead and kind of bring these up, and let's look at thickness here, and let's bring them out. Get you mini, mini, mini here, and as you can see, the thickest of the bunch is the XU Mini M. She's, uh, I mean, yeah, it's pretty, pretty thick. Um, is it by much? I don't know. I'm gonna have to I'm have to bring out a tool here to see. But as you can see, lengthwise they're the same. The height wise, or I don't know what to say. The um, yeah is the thickest is this unit here so yeah let's go ahead and just do a quick screen comparison because you know I, I told you which one was better but i wanted to try to play some things here so i'm gonna try to see if i can launch a game here give me a moment and then we'll we'll show it all right so i wanted to show off the screens here um just a comparison on these on the um you know the handhelds I, I put XU Mini M on flashlight mode because um, I wanted to be fair. They're all max out brightness. Um, obviously, this is the brightest here, but I'm again wondering about the heat on 50%. It was uh, was not bad, but it's still warm. You know, I don't know how how uncomfortable this is going to get. You know, on 100% here, but this is just for testing purposes. I want to give them all give a fair shot here. Um, yeah, really, the best screen is this Miu 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 mini um if we're talking best screen but it's it definitely has some brightness issues here um when it comes towards it i really do uh again though i still kind of it's the best screen but it's not the best screen that's why i did still give it kind of to to the um to the xu mini m because of the you know the brightness but now i'm wondering <laughs> about how that's gonna if that's gonna stay here, but let's go ahead and just kind of press uh, a start here on these units and get this going. So let's go ahead and start, start. And there's some glare there. I'm sorry, guys. Let's. There it is. You can just see it there. If I can kind of push this up. And the problem I had with the MiU Mini is that the panel, the brightness is just not as bright um, as the other units here. You can see, you know, what's the, the you know, the, the brightness here, what's, what's uh, you know, how good they are. This is, this would be the second highest brightness. This is the highest. And then this, this, uh, I don't know. I mean, this, this seems kind of like the, eh, like fourth, maybe, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, probably the lowest I don't know just looking at it here but let's go ahead and just select a, a new one let's go ahead and get that done and let's play this here really quick and as you can see looking at it here
and this camera doesn't do it justice and you know i know we got that glare situation going on let me just move things up uh, okay it's better yeah i can't fight you glare i know you're just winning right now <laughs> let me just move something in the way and see if that helps yeah, that, that's better. Yeah, and then also you can better see the screens here. Yeah, okay, that looks better. All right. Oh, bees. B, 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 B. Let's kind of get past this here. All right, so she's out of her house here. I'm trying, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Looking at it here. Yeah. This is... The contrast on this thing is, isn't crazy. It is crazy. I'm going to have to take it back. I'm sorry. The Me You Mini wins screen contrast-wise. Uh, it's just... It's just... Yeah. This is definitely second place. Second place here to me. And then, as for everything else, this is this is this is third. And let me see if I can really. I don't know. Maybe I have to take that back. This is third. This is four, uh, fourth, and this is last, last here. Um, so yeah, it, it seems like the Miu Mini is the best screen here out of the bunch, and then you've you've got this. I think is second place because you know it's it's uh, it's 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 really uh, it's it's really good. You know, brightness levels and everything else. Just looking at it, you know, me eyeballing it here. Only thing I'll give is that the brightness level is just, you know, a max. It's, it's, it's a little low, little low, little low. Yeah. Yeah, so this is, this is first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, that's the screen here. As you can see, um, hopefully uh, I've got it on camera. Mio Mini wins, but it's second place here. I still... You know, with the brightness issue with the Miu Mini, I know it, it, it can really be a back and forth. It all just like on preference here, but it really, I mean, it's it's still, if you didn't take in that brightness issue, this thing just kind of destroys. Like a Miu Mini is definitely, v, this is a V4, I'm sorry. V4 is, is, is really good. So yeah, um, that was just showing off the screens here just to compare it. And I know, I know I've already compared the, uh, the sizes here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I don't wanna compare the sounds. Um, cause it's just, it's going to be exhausting, but you kind of get the gist of it. So let me go ahead and turn these units off and then, uh, or, and get them out of the way. And then, um, yeah, we'll wrap up. All right. So we're back here. Yeah. Really could have, you know, obviously did more performance, you know, showing off more of the performance here, but I mean, really you can play some, some, some N N64 PSP Saturn Dreamcast. It's not going to be, uh, it's gonna be an issue there, so I wouldn't recommend it. Um, has for everything else though, I mean, again, it's got like, you know, second place screen out of these 2.8 inches. Um, you know, audio, I, I really do feel uh, compared to the others that it is, uh, you know, the obviously the highest, and I think it's pretty, pretty clear. It's great, great audio, best joysticks out of the bunch. D-pad though, it's it's disappointing. I mean, it's, it's um, I think it's it's definitely a it's pretty close to the MiU. I mean uh, the uh, MiU A30. It's it's not that great. I mean there's definitely false diagonals on it, and the buttons are just okay. They work. They feel you know not bad. They're nothing exciting. Shoulders are great though. Shoulders are great. Other than you know if you get to the side of it, you're not gonna be able to click at all uh, when it comes towards it. There again, disappointing on the 3.5 millimeter. Um, you get that buzzing noise. Um, so there's that. And then the software, you know, Plum OS, because you're not going to be on stock. Again, gets really warm. Um, obviously, the screen, you notice, this gets, uh, 
if you increase the brightness levels will get uncomfortable so I'm, I definitely f you know feel that if you put the brightness too high I'm worrying about the longevity of the screen and maybe there's something more going on because the screen's the only thing that's getting hot on this unit um, so I'm gonna have to open it up and uh, uh, take a look at it here and see what's going on in fact I'm gonna open it up right now and see if maybe there's a uh, you know, like some type of the heat sinks touching it. Like I don't know really, where it really is the brightness of the screen that it's getting really hot. So let's go ahead and open this up one moment. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and, you know, get this, uh, get this, um, <laughs> it's coming to me now, get this, uh, opened up and see what's inside. I want to see that fake chip. Want to, you know, take a look and see if I see, uh, uh, you know, like I saw in the other units, um, you know, people that were showing off um, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, I'm sorry, in those. Um... All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and get this, um, get this uh, opened up and see that little fake chip and see maybe why also the screen is getting hot other than the brightness you know, turning up the brightness, you know, higher because, you know, the higher the brightness, the, the, the hotter the screen is. But I wonder if there's anything else. Maybe the screen's being used as a heat sink. I know when I was looking at the, you know, pictures of the device when it was, um, when it was opened up, it was showing that it had its own little mini heat sink there. So I'm wondering if maybe it's touching the screen or what's going on here. So let's go ahead and get this opened up and uh, see what's going on. All right, so far so good. You know, I'm probably going to need to get these SD cards. <laughs> I should get these SD cards out. So let me go ahead and just kind of pop these things right out here. All right, so that's one. That's two. All right, SD cards are out. Let's go ahead and get this screw out of the way right now I'm using a Phillips um, what is it a, a Phillips a double zero to get this opened up all right everything looks out so hmm let's see if there's anything else I need to do or if it will just come apart so far nothing's apparent <laughs> On getting this opened up other than I just remove some screws let me see if I need to yeah okay all right let me see if I can get a you know a tool to help me out here see if um, we can get this uh, get this going here one moment all right let's see if we can maybe yeah <laughs> all right looking good here oh okay interesting sound oh, oh. <laughs> okay this is interesting this is going to be an issue i just found an issue here I'm getting this opened up. Wonder if that is. Yeah, that's good. That's probably going to be an issue. All right. Well, let's continue here. See if we can get this opened up all the way. Kind of going in blind here because there's really no video on this uh, on getting one of these opened up. So I don't know if I'm going to trash the entire unit or what's going to happen. But so far, everything's kind of given here except this. Okay, it's more out. All right, let's try this here. Okay. Well, let's see. I mean, what's what's holding this thing back? It's like right, right there. Yeah, come on now. Well, now you can do it. I thought this would be simple. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. All right, guys, I am definitely trying here. Give me a moment to try to get this uh, taken out here. So far, nothing obvious is happening. I'm just kind of pushing up and lifting. I, mean, I got the left side really good out. Well, come on, that bottom and the top. Hmm. Let's do something different here. One second. All right, let's see. Let's see if I have something. I have something there that I could pry that out. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do something like that. Let's see what happens. It's not exactly what I want. All right, I'm gonna be right back. Uh, may just skip the part of me actually getting it, uh, getting it, you know, the whole process of getting removed off or I may, may start up a little bit here, but give me a moment. I'm just gonna figure out another way to try to get this, uh, get this opened up. All right, so yeah, so it's just a little bit more elbow grease because there's definitely like some clips that need to you know, get unclipped there. So, so far, so good just the top of the unit is an issue obviously the buttons just came off but i'm not really concerned about that so let's see right now it's just a little bit more elbow grease you know just kind of popping it off but let's see about the top this time hmm yeah this top's tricky come on now not uh, coming off like okay. I maybe if I start a little bit at the bottom. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to break this like at all. The buttons are obviously just you know doing its thing in the unit but all right I'm getting some movement here let's try to see if I'm right at these shoulder buttons if I can get some more more uh, more leverage here Mm. Mm -mm. Let's do something here. Let's get another one and see if. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Maybe. 
break any of this, but what is, what's going on? It's being held in there. It's, it's just not, not as smooth as, you know, nothing that I notice. Hmm. Ah, okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, boy. Okay. Things are happening. This one just like being stubborn. Okay. Now. <sighs> I'm trying to be careful here. It looks like the clips that are holding me back. There it is. Let's pray I didn't break any of these so mad. Still some type of clip situation here. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Okay, so we got it opened up after like a bajillion years. Alright, first things first. Let's disconnect the battery. Okay, they don't want to do it that way, but I had to. All right. Oh man, I just don't like doing it that, that way. No, 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 no. Give me a moment here. I'm just trying not to destroy the, um, not trying not to destroy the, uh, the, these cables here. So give me one second. Yeah, no point in rushing here when all I have to do is disconnect both these speakers. Yeah, I don't want to do it that way. Where's my tools, man? Where's my tools? Yeah, there it is. All right, let's try this. Oh, man, why are you doing this to me? I'm probably doing this so wrong. Uh, and I'm um, not getting it that greatly on screen here. Give me a moment. I'm going to try to get these out. So I will be right back. All right. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> it has been a wild ride here. So 2,600 milliamp hours. So we can now probably not confirm because it doesn't really matter what's on there. But it still shows 2,600 uh, milliamp uh, hours there for the uh, the uh, battery and it's showing 10 watts at 3.8 volts so there's that now the interesting part and I did talk about this here and this is what gets me because you know XU10 or whatever here is our Magic X I'm sorry Magic X or Manic X you know because <laughs> they misspelled their own name in that uh, that statement there um, you know, they were, they were uh, literally, um, you know, uh, showing DDR4 on the AliExpress, you know, specs page. Same thing with the XU10, even on Palkitty's website for the XU10, it's showing, you know, the actual uh, 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 specs has um, being DDR4. But as you can see on this unit, it is DDR3. And I'm going to look this up here just to confirm. 
but this should be DDR3. So I'm going to go ahead, DDR3L. So I'm going to go ahead and look that up here. And if you guys want to look it up, you can. And yeah, give me a moment. Let me go ahead and do a quick search and make sure, you know, it's the same thing as the XU, uh, XU10 there. All right, folks, welcome back here. My lapel uh, mic clip has malfunctioned here. I'm literally holding my uh, lapel mic here in my hand. But yeah, uh, it is DDR3L. So I did look it up here and you can see the, you can do the same. You can see the data uh, spec sheet. So again, DDR3L. So they're, you know, on the AliExpress website, it is saying it's a DDR4 Um one gigabyte of DDR4. This is this is DDR3L again, and then on the XU10, it was the same thing. So, I mean, it's more than just this chip here, which we're about to uncover here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, get this removed off here, and we'll be right back. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can remove this little heat sink here. Maybe it just wiggles off. Looks like they're using an actual. Oh no my shoulder button anyways uh they're they're using a um literally uh 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 it's coming to me now like a a pad yeah you know what i mean a heat spreader pad here so let me wow this unit's not even interesting okay so this unit's not even uh yeah we'll, we'll get it off in a second let's see if we can Maybe wiggle this off. Uh, man, the thing is like super glued on. Woo! <laughs> they really did not want to want you to take a look at this. Like it is, this is not, this is like super glued on. This is, this is interesting. Wow, okay. Uh, well, okay. Super glue is an exaggeration. It's it's uh okay let's see it's not uh it's got a little stick sticky thing still on here i don't know how good it'll stick after this but Come on. <laughs> i may get need to get two hands on this I'm just gonna keep like taking my fingers, scraping it off, just like slowly getting it off here. Yeah, I mean, ah, <laughs> uh, nothing's easy. It's just gonna take some elbow grease here. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll be right back. Maybe I'll just speed this up. Come on, you can you can get off there. No wonder the pictures had had it like it was some some sticky residue on it because it's literally stuck. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get some uh, isopropic uh, al alcohol and just just get this uh, cleaned up. And let me see if I can get uh, there. It is. You can see it. All right, I'll be right back. 
I am back. Let's see if I can clean this off and reveal the fake or the silk screen here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Show me the money. Show me the money. There it is, but um it's and I, I I didn't fade it out, but like yeah, it's pretty. Uh, let me zoom in with my camera here. Uh, let's just get a little closer. I mean, it's compared to the you know these chips here. I mean, they're just like night and day you know like the this the, the actual print on them this is just like what is this i mean it's just so so light and you know it shows three five six two rk and, and the, the printing is just it's just yeah i mean it's pretty obvious like it's it's just so light and and just like barely there i don't know what to say I don't think it's because of isopropic alcohol here. It's just barely there. Just looking better, I guess. Not really. I mean, it's just so faded out. <laughs> now I got a whole bunch of stuff on the motherboard. <laughs> Whatever. Let's see. Maybe if I angle it in the light. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the best it's going to be. Like, it's just so faded out. It's just like, you know, it's not like us. Yeah, <laughs> it's not like the other chips. It's just, you can just tell. It's just. Yeah, I don't know what to say. Obviously, um, you know, it's just so faded out that it's just like I could go all day, you know, trying to angle it with whatever angle. It just doesn't matter. That's better. Nah, I mean, it's still just so faded out. I'm sorry, guys. You just... Bring it slowly, closer and closer. No matter what I do, it's just so faded out, I can't get it. All right, obviously there's something wrong there. Obviously it's not a 3.5, uh, a 6.2 there. The print is just so, <laughs> so light. I mean, it's almost intentionally light, uh, is all I'm gonna say there. Um, let's see if we can get this motherboard out and then we'll go from there because I know this motherboard seems to just want to pop out. So let's see if we can um, get these buttons out and then go from there. Oh, you know what? I should demonstrate uh, something here. Let me go ahead and zoom a little out or get a little bit out here. So obviously I think this has been shown on video already, but and then when you get to a point Looks like I could still do it on this one. That's probably because I removed the other button. <laughs> That's probably why. See, now it looks like it's fixed. Once that button's gone, it's just like you can you can do it anywhere. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, that requires too much force. All right, it's it's no. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get these buttons removed off, and then we're gonna see if we can get the the PCB out, and then uh, go from there. kind of zoom out here and pull this out okay and let's just see uh yeah that's gonna be uh, the joysticks 
yeah, let's get it out. Let's get it out. Let's go all the way. Let's go all the way. Let's go all the way. Oh boy, this is this is not gonna be a pain to put back together. It's just gonna be right. Maybe I can finally get back to see what is going on with this screen other than, you know, increasing the brightness gets it really hot. Is there anything else happening back there that I don't know about? Let's see if it just kind of raises up or, or what happens here. It just kind of. No, uh, maybe not. No, nope, you're not going to be easy for me. I think still holding this in. Great. Nope, nope. I'm holding this in. kind of needed that up oh, there it is what is this what is this oh you don't need those <laughs> it's just the everything else is just falling out which is great okay I see the reason why the screen okay cable is attached and then I would have to remove that yeah, I don't think it's worth it. Do I see anything back here that, yeah, I mean, I could, I could definitely tell that's definitely gonna be an issue. All right, we're gonna stop from here. I mean, there's, there's, uh... oh, let's just keep going. <laughs> let's just keep going. Let's see if I can. Maybe if that lifts up, or what? Do, I'm sorry. What direction does this go? Oh man! Yeah, this is becoming a pain, 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 pain. But I'm gonna have to remove that just to get these buttons back in. Probably shouldn't have. Should have stopped right there. Yeah, they're all just falling out. Thank you. All right, that's going to be it. <laughs> I'll get back to this later. It's late. But yeah, we all um, we all saw the uh, fake chip there. As you can see, it's just so faded out that, I mean, you can see clearly the print is clear, nice and clear on this. On this, it's just like... You know, it's barely there. It's just barely there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is barely there. And you could just feel, it doesn't feel like the regular chip, you know, like as if it's been scraped, you know, like, I don't know, it's weird. It doesn't feel right. Yeah, it doesn't feel right. This is nice and smooth. This is, yeah, no. Yeah, all right. That's it. Um, that's it. That's going to be the end of this video here. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't really do any any additional performance testing. I mean, I, I loaded up PSP. I did some N64 there. I'm not sure if I'll show the footage. Um, you know, and then I took this thing apart and, you know, uh, confirmed a couple of things here. DDR3L, again, rock chip is, uh, uh, obviously, it's the prints faded out. Doesn't feel... 
right either. I mean, this is nice and silky smooth. You can tell something's happened here. And then, you know, this, this print, it's, it's over it as if, you know, again, maybe some type of scraping or something. Cause it's not a, uh, not a smooth texture has these, these other ones here, or it just could be the, the chip. I don't know, but the print is just, just faded out there, uh, when it comes towards it. Um, yeah, if you guys like the video, please like, um, oh, please subscribe here. I'm only like a hundred and something subscribers before I can unlock, you know, some more performance here at YouTube and it'll be much appreciated here. But you guys, uh, you know, thank you for, for uh, staying tuned and have a, uh, wonderful day out there. Bye bye. And all right, you guys thought that was the end of the video. Well, it was, I just wanted to, you know, just one more, one more time. I finally got the board out. I was just. That's much clearer. Yeah, there it is. There's the chip. I see you. You imposter, you. All right, thanks, guys. Please subscribe.